What's up everyone, welcome back to the RBN TV. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I drop these videos. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to follow me on my journey. Now after Offset responded to Jay Prince's million dollars worth of game interview, Jay Prince wasn't too happy with the response. He went on Instagram pretty much sending Offset some threats, telling him that he's a punk, he's a tender D nigga and whatnot, saying that when he had problems, he had to call him when Cardi B had her problems with the crib. If y'all remember, Cardi B said she hate wearing blue, she called it the flu, she had a little problem with the, the crips. J Prince was saying that Offset had to call him to squash it, but pretty much Cardi B took to Twitter to say that's a lie. She responded to a fan saying that never, tell him to show receipts. Only people that was there was whack and big you. Why would he be called for anything involving Crips? Whole bunch of fairy tales. Now, I believe Cardi B, man. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Jay Prince comes off as the type of guy that puts himself in the middle of people's business. Then try to bring it up saying, look what I did for you. Yeah, I remember the YB situation when them boys ran up in YB. Or they tried to run up in YB's crib, took his keys. How Jay Prince was saying, I got your keys back. Oh. And then when young boy was telling him to keep it and whatnot. He was saying he's a dumb boy so i don't know man jay prince is the type of n-word i don't know what type of time he's on but he needs to mind his own business in my personal opinion so i might have to agree with cardi b on this one y'all can let me know your thoughts in the comment section hit the like hit the share hit the subscribe button you don't know